What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a couple weeks since I released one of these videos for you. It's just been a little hectic around here. We're preparing for our year long travel in Southeast Asia. So I got vaccines and those vaccines got me sick and I've been kind of under the weather for the past couple weeks, just coughing up a storm and stomach problems, stuff that you really don't need to hear about. Uh, but in other big news, Stacia and I got engaged, which was like really epic. That, ha that happened last week. It was a cool vlog to make. There's some cinematic shots in there as well. And it was like a really fun surprise. Uh, so it would mean a lot if you guys go check it out and leave a comment and say hi. Uh, but today I have a new transition for you. It's kind of like the warp transition that I gave you guys a couple weeks ago, but this one's more like a bubble effect. So it's like a zoom in, bubble, pop, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your finder window, head over to your movies folder, inside of movies, motion templates, inside of motion templates, transitions. And as you'll see here, I already dragged in the bubble transition. So you're just going to take this folder, drag and drop it right here, and then restart Final Cut Pro. Once you restart Final Cut Pro, as you can see, I'm in my timeline now and I already have some footage pulled in from my last video. This is uh, some of the cinematic footage of the B-roll that I took. I wanna put this bubble transition right after this clip right here. So I'm gonna head over to my transitions tab and then as you'll see here, we have the custom bubble transition. And all I'm gonna do is just click and drag this right over here. So now we're gonna head over to our inspector window and you'll see we have distortion settings, color settings and camera settings. And in the distortion settings, I can move the distortion up and down. I can change the bounce and add a little bit more pop to that bubble effect. I can make the warp a little bit more, a little bit less and I can add some blur or remove blur. We can also change the brightness and we can add the prism effect to make it a little bit more or less. Change the angle using the rotation. And then we also change the camera rotation as well. And then we can add some camera shake. And if you wanna add a new camera shake, you just click that refresh button and it'll add a new camera shake. And now we're gonna head over and play the clip There it is. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Let me know what you think of this one. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.